Welcome one and all to Disfigure. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today a new update brings a new weapon and skills. I'm grabbing the high damage, low fire rate hand cannon and heading into the nightmare filled darkness. I'll need to choose my upgrade trees carefully, from wildfire to the new ricochet rounds. Will it be enough to keep my light burning? Let's find out in Disfigure. All right, here we go with some more Disfigure. This is a really excellent bullet heaven that is 100% free. Although according to the developer, that might not always be the case as more content is added, which is why we're here. Recently, we've been getting a bunch of new content for this game. Last December, it was a new map with new enemies. And now here in January, we have a new weapon, new skill trees, along with the usual bug fixes and balance changes. Now, if you want to check this game on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and check out this new weapon. Uh, oh, here, the hand cannon. Look at this. Bullets are always unable to pierce enemies. That doesn't sound great. Can we unlock this? Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Excellent. And just take a look at the stats here. Bullet damage is 40. That's quite a lot compared to the pistol. Is that actually the highest? The bar goes all the way to the right. That is the most damage of any of the weapons here. Fire rate is pretty abysmal, pretty low. Bullet size is huge and bullet speed is pretty good comparatively. It's interesting. Uh, this is sort of the hand cannon kind of like uh, a variant on the pistol here. I'm wondering if all of these coming soon here are going to be variants of their respective left column weapons or if it's just coincidence that they're next to each other. Let's take a look at the perks as well. Flash shot, killing enemies with a single shot creates a small flashbang explosion. That's great. Bullet damage plus 50%, fire rate 35%. Bullets can ricochet up to six times, 50% bullet speed, that sounds amazing. Wait two seconds before shooting to double the damage of your next shot, that sounds awful. I mean, it's, <laughs> it sounds good, it just sounds awful for, for my playstyle. Uh, rap there you go, rapid fire, that's my playstyle. Shooting an enemy will temporarily increase fire rate by 15% up to 75%. Resets when a shot is missed. Wildfire bullets uh, trigger wildfire on enemy kills. Shooting an enemy below 50% health will instantly kill it. That is great. And shoot burst of six bullets. That sounds great as well. All right, uh, let's get into this. And we're going to go into map two here. It uh, On normal, it rocked me uh, last time. We'll see how well the, the hand cannon does. All right, we can switch mode, but I prefer, I generally prefer the, oh man, look at that. I generally prefer the circle vision. So I don't feel comfortable not being able to see behind me. Uh, electricity, damaging enemies inflict shock. Every five seconds fire a flashbang. Every fifth enemy killed by a bullet will explode into wildfire. Guided missile. Ooh, ricochet rounds. Bullets have a 50% chance to ricochet towards a single nearby enemy, getting 60% bullet size and bullet speed. And give me more damage. That sounds great. We're a high damage character. Let's see that 50%. There's a 50%. Way off there somewhere. Oh, excellent. All right. Uh, I do kind of... I'm just going to use the cone vision right now and just kind of move forward. Avoid going back. Cloned Sentry. I think this is one of the new skill trees i think actually the ricochet might be a new skill tree as well every eight seconds spawn a sentry which aims and shoots at whatever wherever you're aiming shoots 10 times before despawning does it does it follow me or is it in a fixed spot because i'm going to be on the move electricity shield barrier this one's not bad although getting up to 200 enemies with our fire rate might not be easy 25 percent chance when damaging enemies to inflict a bleed Enemies outside of any vision cone moves 25% slower. I'm not sure if I'm liking any of these. I need some fire rate. Let's re-roll this. Uh, shield barrier, singularity, electricity, shrapnel. On death, enemies will explode into two smaller projectiles of whatever killed them that deal 25% damage. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I want that. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Just keep moving forward. Uh, I'm not going to use the auto fire because I feel like with the low fire rate, that would be bad for me. Killing an enemy with a single shot has a 100% chance to ricochet. 
That's what we're doing right now. Doom rounds. After killing an enemy, your next shot will do 50% more damage. Oh, that sounds amazing. Circle vision size. I like that as well. Okay, so hold on. Death Ricochet is already for an upgrade path that we have. As well as Doom Rounds. Doom Rounds is on our shrap Shrapnel. Uh, so I think... However, this is a brand new upgrade tree. And I think I want to grab that. So we have it. But I definitely want to be grabbing those other ones the next time they show up. Hopefully. There was something down here, right? There we go. Alright, for some reason I don't feel as comfortable <laughs> in any bullet heaven walking downwards as I do walking upwards. Usually it's the angle at which the game is at, but this is straight top down, so it shouldn't matter. Enemy projectiles move 30% slower. There's the shield barrier, the plasma charge, burning, movement speed, experience, pickup range. I want more damage is what I want. Not necessarily dot. I want to try high damage. Let's re-roll this real quick. Uh, shrapnel to 50% damage. That sounds great. Damage of each ricochet increases by 50%. That sounds great as well. Oh, fire rate. That's the kind of thing. Right there. Let's grab the fire rate. Because this map gets a little crazy, if I remember correctly. I mean, we're doing okay so far. Early game. But, oh, we're getting the... all. Oh, look at you. You're awful. You take a couple shots. You're not great. I gotta keep moving forward. I'm gonna get hit from behind. Bleed. Shrapnel, I think we pick up. No, Doom Rounds. Next shot, 50% more damage. Guaranteed. And unfortunately, we can't pierce as well. Although, I, I suppose if we're one-shotting enemies... Well, not you. Oh, I gotta put my circle back up. You should be fine. On every sixth shot damage, all enemies revealed in vision. And not all that great for a low fire rate weapon. Flashbangs. Bullet speed and more fire rate. I said that and we get a fire rate increase. Which is what we need. We need more fire rate. Alright, uh, so far, oh, so far we're okay. We need movement speed, circle vision slows down enemies, multi-shot, but less bullet damage. Is that worth it? I mean, that triggers, that'll trigger like extra ricochets, right? Uh, we already do a lot of damage. So it's a, it's a big hit on our damage, but we'll see how, oh no, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Maybe we're not good later game. But we're good right now. All right, come on. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, never mind. I, I regret saying where you were. You can go back into hiding now. Uh, burn, wildfire, plasma charge, this cloned sentry. The Blinding Light. Do I want to pick up something new or do I want to continue to focus on my upgrade paths? Explode in a wildfire. Damage any nearby enemies by the amount of damage that they received on death. That's pretty nice, actually. And do I have something that decreases the number of shots? Here we go. It decreases its cooldown by two. Wildfire explosions are much larger. Enemies touched by wildfire are set on fire. Yeah, let's grab let's grab this wildfire. Oh, also the art here. Uh, apparently, the original art here was AI. I think it's like this one and maybe this one. AI generated art, and the developers always said that the said that these were placeholders and they they will be replaced. Well, they've started to replace them. It looks like these here, like burn, plasma charge, maybe blinding light. I'm not sure, but definitely I think Burn and Plasma Charge are uh, non-AI art to work. And that eventually they will get all of the art re replaced. 
which is great. Alright, there's that wildfire, which is not bad. I like that, especially, oh yes, as they all clump up. Here we have our first weapon perk. We can have the flashbang explosions. I'm not sure that helps us right now. We don't have anything that is is uh, going with the light. But bullet damage or fire rate. This brings us back up with our bullet damage. I kind of like fire rate, honestly. I'm going to grab fire rate. Oh yeah, this feels a lot better right now. Look how fast we're shooting. Oh, and we're just destroying. <laughs> oh, this is great. More wildfire damage. It sounds amazing. Circle vision size. Straight up damage. Straight up damage? Because this is a new upgrade path. We're going to grab that. And, okay, where are you? Come on, guys. Clump up together for me. It makes it easier to take all of you down as well as grab all your experience. Guided missiles. Every five seconds, your next shot will fire a missile. Wildfire, wildfire burst. Uh, fire towards an enemy. If a doom round kills an enemy, fire rate is temporarily doubled for one second. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is great. Alright. I think we've already uh, sort of made up for the low fire rate. Wait, piercing rounds. Projectiles will pierce through one enemy. But it said this can never pierce. I'm presuming this doesn't work for us. I mean, we still get bullet size and bullet speed. And actually, we still get to here. No, pierce through three, pierce through infinite. I don't think this does anything for us. I think the fact that our weapon cannot pierce at all. We want to get up here at a hollow point. Max caliber, stopping power, we want that. More wildfire damage. Damage and bullet size of doom rounds are doubled. That's what we want. We want our doom rounds to be uh, killing enemies. Because then we get the fire rate doubled. Ew, a triple shot. Oh, man. Okay, no, we're going calamity rounds. And we're just going to go ham on everybody. All right, man, definitely feeling... I don't know what weapon I brought in last time when I first tried this level. But it was not the right weapon. Either that or... Oh, careful. I did not pick the right upgrades. I'm starting to get to the point where I really want to be using my circle vision. So I do want to get that up. I do like Shield Barrier as well. And just for, it's essentially an extra, an extra heart. So maybe I grab that right now. So I'm feeling good with my damage output. Nice, and we get the Shield Barrier right off the bat. Either that or it already knew that we've killed at least 200 enemies already. Not sure. Oh, you were awful. You had like multiple arms on you. Uh, chance to bleed. We're, we're killing things in one hit. Radiation, we're not doing quite with that one. Spotlight is cone vision. There's the triple shot. Shrapnel. You know what? Let's try a triple shot. We take another hit on the damage, but maybe we're still okay. Oh, you no, you with the arms. You don't need to. You don't need to be here. Okay, maybe the triple shot was a mistake. We'll find out. We're still we're still doing okay. But we're definitely not doing as good as we were before. Maybe we get some more damage upgrades. Every third shot, shoot a spiral of nine smaller projectiles. What? Bullet flower? What <laughs> what is that? Uh, radiation flashbangs, plasma charge, deadly ricochets. 
I mean, I like deadly ricochets, but I think we do bullet flower. That's the end of the, the quick draw bottom path here. So it is essentially like it's ultimate. Sure, grab that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. And then will those cause ricochets as well? I'm not sure. It's just a lot of projectiles everywhere. All right, where are we at? Electricity, plasma charge, singularity, spotlight. Okay, here, glow. We're going to grab this. More circle vision, more movement speed. There you go. Feeling a bit better. And then maybe if the flashbangs show up, I might take the flashbangs as well. Because they do, at least they help for visibility. I should check out what the upgrade tree for the flashbang is, if there's any anything interesting. Slowed projectiles for the enemies. Like, what does this do? Shoot an enemy projectile to deflect it towards a random enemy. Oh, but mine, no, I don't want that, that's a big fire rate decrease. Bullet damage, bullet damage, fire rate. Killing an enemy will instantly destroy all projectiles they fired. Yeah, that's okay, we're good. Guided missile, remote detonation, this will explode into nine phosphorus trails. Here's the flashbangs. So what do we get after this? Every five shots fire a flashbang. They take more damage, freeze enemies, split into two more flashbangs, fire five at a time. Enemies are slowed. Enemies are slowed. Uh, every fifth enemy killed explodes into three temporary vision rays. I'm not sure if I want to go down that path. I think I want to upgrade some of what I have already. Let's reroll. Killing spree. Killing enemies temporarily increases fire rate by 5% up to 50%. Resets after 3 seconds without killing. We lose more bullet damage. I don't think I want to take that hit on the bullet damage again. So we get deadly ricochets. Bullet damage up 15%. Maybe then we take this one after then we're only losing 5% after this 15% increase. All right, let's do that. All right, where are we? We're at five minutes. I think at 10 minutes, we're gonna get a boss. I, I haven't seen the boss for uh, this level yet. So it'll be interesting. Oh, there's hollow point. I like that. 30% bullet damage. Shrapnel projectiles deal 50% more damage. Uh, no, we're going with hollow point here. And our bullet size. Look at our bullet size. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, did I leave like a bunch of experience down here? I think so. Oh yeah, look at all this. I haven't seen any enemies that drop the larger experience on the rate on the first map. There are enemies. Oh, we have projectiles now. There are enemies that drop larger experience orbs. I haven't seen any yet. I don't know who was firing uh, the, the projectiles. We can get bullets can ricochet up to six times. Wait two seconds, no. Shooting enemy will temporarily increase fire rate. Resets when a shot is missed. Okay, I think we're gonna miss a lot of shots considering we have a triple shot right now. I can't guarantee that all three shots that I'm firing are gonna hit. So I think we go with turbulent rounds. I mean, more damage sounds great. Or killing enemies with a single shot. But ricochet up to six times, yes. and just go crazy on everybody. Oh no. Oh man, I almost got hit there. 
Who was that? I don't know who's who's firing those shots. I did not see you. You're in the darkness. Oh no, I definitely do not want to do cone vision right now. Especially with me going back and forth trying to grab all of these experience. Alright, wildfire burst. I like that. Max caliber. I probably like that even better. Circle vision slows down enemies by 20%. What is... I want this here. Circle vision size higher. And then, man, minus one health. That's a little rough. But we're going to go with max caliber. And what do we get to the end here? Even more. Oh, watch out. Okay, yeah, these little these little green guys slightly annoying. But at least they're not aggressive towards me. Like everything else is on the back of this giant snake. Alright, get a level up here. See what we're looking at. Plasma charge, shield boost, killing every 50 enemies will increase weapon stacks by 5%. Oh, there's the stopping power. Cloned sentry, wildfire burst. I mean, let's just let's just go right to the end here. And that'll be it for the bulk rounds because we're not doing the the pierce path. We lose fire rate, but we do get the the gain in fire rate, the double, the doubling. And like, man, there's nothing getting that close to us right now. Oh, geez, I said that. <laughs> They're right on me. I guess I hadn't fired in that direction in a while, huh? I got to, uh, I really got to, like, spread my shots around. Cover, cover my six, as it were. All right, spotlight cone vision. No, plasma charge I'm not interested in. Light wave every five seconds emits a thin wave of light that reveals everything for an instant. There's the circle vision size. I do want this because I love, I do like the 40%, even though we do get one max health. Circle light will freeze enemies every three seconds. Sounds great as well. What is this? Every enemy killed by a ricochet will increase the damage of your next shot by 15%. Never mind, we're going that. We're, we're, we're going with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm firing at things and they're just dying before I can even see them. Which is just fine with me. If my shots don't take him out, the ricochets will take him out. It does mean that all of this experience is kind of spread out. Maybe if I head back... Oh, wait. Okay, maybe if I head back up this way, I can grab this, some of the stuff I missed. Careful, careful. Alright, oh, we're coming up on 10 minutes, though. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried it's going to happen. What's going to show? Oh, my gosh. What was that? Oh, jeez. What are you? Uh, you're awful. Did you hit me? Just coming straight out of that? Uh, light wave. Swiftness. I might, I might need swiftness right now. <laughs> I might need it. Uh, shield barriers. Activated fire cyclone of 100 projectiles. Enemies outside of vision move 25% slower. Let's just grab, let's grab this swiftness. I don't know what's going to happen. Where are you? Okay, you're big and you're awful. Oh, jeez. You're like some giant evil sweet potato. And it's hard to 
get shots on you while also dealing with everything around me. But at least I'm probably I'm getting some ricochet damage. And some split damage here. Oh jeez. Oh, did I get you? Oh, you're gone. Oh, grab this heart. I have four hearts now. Excellent. Okay, uh, I think I think the high damage output of us is what really <laughs> what really did that. That was crazy. Well, there goes the first boss. And I think the next boss is at 20 minutes, and I think that's the end. I mean, technically every round here is endless. I think once you get to 20 minutes. Oh, there's a big there's some big experience. Something is dropping giant experience. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, it's these little eye guys. Yeah, once you get to uh, 20 minutes, you can either end end the run because it's considered complete, or just keep going and see how long you can uh, get to. Experience pickup range, piercing. We're not doing. I guess wildfire damage. We have we have wildfire. I completely forgot we had grabbed that. Yeah, every fifth enemy killed by a bullet. That's right. That was that was early on. Sure, more damage for that. Oh man, these eye guys. They take some hits. The other enemies, oh jeez, are going down with the ricochets and the splits, but the uh, the eyes are not. I have to. I really need to aim at them to take them down. But at least we get the the better experience off of them. I still don't know who's firing projectiles at me. Still have not seen you. Like by the time you fi I see the projectiles and I look over there, you're gone. All right, what do we got? Electricity, plasma charge, killing spree, less damage but more speed, killing enemies temporarily increases fire rate, resets three seconds without killing. Let's grab that. I think we, I don't think uh, we're gonna go three seconds without killing. I think we're good. Oh, wow. Look at this fire rate. Yes, let's go. Oh, and we reset. But, oh, it's nice. It's great. All right, wow. We got no worries here. I wonder what hard is like. Definitely feel like this might do well. This build I got going here might do well on hard. All right, max ricochet. Damage of each ricochet is double. That's what we're looking for. Plus we get base bullet and bullet damage and bullet speed. Yes, max ricochet. We should be able to get, I think level 30, we'll get another weapon perk as well. So we're almost to that. What I need, honestly, is just more enemies on <laughs> more enemies on screen. I never thought I'd say that. Oh geez. We have sprint, 25% movement speed while not shooting. Well, we're shooting all the time. What is here though? Bullet damage is increased by 50% of increases in movement speed. That's not bad. Waiting three seconds without shooting temporarily increases movement speed. So yeah, we're not, we might get to here, run and gun. Pickup range, 
Picking up experience increases the bullet damage, size, and bullet speed of your next shot by 5%. Experience revealed in vision will float towards the player from any range, but you lose a lot of speed. Wait, molten rounds. Killing an enemy with wildfire increases the damage of your next shot by 10%. Stacks up to 100%. Maybe. Enemies killed by wildfire were up in a burst of fire. I like that as well. Let's go molten rounds. Even if we don't trigger this top part, we do get just a base damage up on the wildfire. All right, can we like sit still here? I mean, not for long, because we got projectiles when we got these little green guys coming at us. Oh, we got different kinds of projectiles now. Yeah, this is not a, uh, a sit-still type of bullet heaven. I suppose you could grab that, that one ability, though, where you can shoot the enemy projectiles and deflect them. Then maybe. But then again, you can't, do, you can't interact with these little green bacterias at all. So you still won't be able to sit still for very long. I mean, not to mention you're you're losing out on all the experience around here as well. Since there are no, there's no magnets in this game. At least none that I've encountered. We have spray, <laughs> spray and pray there. That's my motto right there. Fire projectiles faster at the cost of accuracy and damage. More fire rate. Minus 20 bullet damage. We have a bunch of bullet damage increases. I do wish we had a collective sort of stat screen where I could see what my current plus or minus bullet damage is. With all the plus we've been doing, all the minus we've been doing, I'd like to see where it's at like right now. Enemies touched by wildfire are set on fire. Pick up range. Let's do let's do the spray and pray. More fire rate. Means more ricochet. Means more DPS. Oh geez. Which means also almost getting hit in the face by some projectiles. And I might want to start on, hopefully, and grab the circle vision size. Now that I have four hearts, I really don't mind losing one heart to get that extra 40%, because it covers a lot of the screen. Oh, what is that? There was some kind of spiky plant thing. You gave me a giant experience, though. So I like you, but I don't like you. You can show up again one by one with enough time for me to react. Okay, I'm not seeing another one of those, although it's possible I killed it off screen, which would not be great because then I don't know where your experience is. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Oh, there, there's one. Excellent. You're following behind me. Oh, no. Oh, wow, I almost got hit there. I'm surprised I haven't gotten hit yet. I shouldn't say that. Now is exactly the time when I do get hit. We're, we're in the bottom level. Every enemy killed with a bullet will trigger wildfire. I mean, that's... Come on now. This is great, but we're one-shotting enemies. I've been working on my fire rate. I don't want to lose that. We're doing wildfire shots. And just go crazy. Oh, and all our shots are like purple as well. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Let's go. I 
I love the usage of color in this game. Like most things are monochromatic, but all of our little specials and things as we level them up are great. And you can also, my character is orange as well as my reticle. You can change that. I think by default it's white. And I went in there and changed, I think you can change them individually as well. Changed it to orange just for better visibility. Where are we at? We're at 18 minutes. We're getting close. We're getting close to this other boss here. Oh no! Oh, I lost it. First time getting hit. Let's go. 18 minutes. That was... That's not bad. Now we just have to kill, what, 200 enemies to get that shield back? What do we got? Guided Missile, Plasma Charge, and Death Ricochet. Killing an enemy with a single shot has a 100% chance to ricochet. Uh, man, I want the, I want the vision upgrade, but this is great. Uh, yes, 100% ricochets. Oh, there's a big experience. I like it. Like all this experience, just a laying, ooh, over here, wow. <laughs> those those plant things kind of scary they just really run up on you oh there's one okay but yeah I definitely I definitely need to try hard because normal mode, we're doing we're, we're doing just fine, no trouble. Oh geez. Again, I shouldn't talk. I say we're <laughs> I say no trouble, and they come right for me. It's like the game can hear me. Oop. All right, we have Radiation, Singularity, Spotlight, Piercing Rounds, Guided Missile. I'm going to re-roll all this. Bleed, Slowed Projectiles, Wildfire Burst, Shrapnel, deal 50% more damage. This is good. Here's the Circle Vision Size. This is good too. Enemies killed by Wildfire. We're doing this. Because pretty much everything we kill is erupting in wildfire. Which is great. Oh, wow. That is not great. Back off. Oh, no. You're big. You got some kind of... Oh, what is that? Oh, you're huge. Oh, wait. You're multiple parts? Okay, I was... I was... Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm... I'm freaking out. <laughs> I lost. I was trying to look at the, the boss and I completely, I don't even know where you are now. I ran into enemies, which is not great. I need to get my shield back. Okay, you're over there to the left. Oh no. Oh, oh yes, I suppose. We were doing so much damage. So much damage. Uh, you survived. 5850, boss kills 2, level gains 31. Uh, so yeah, here, we you can uh, continue if you want to. Uh, but man, that was great. Do I want to continue? If I continue, then I can grab this, get up to 5 hearts. And then just, uh, are there more bosses after this? I don't know. Uh, but we are literally wrecking everything. Okay, I'm just going to put... I can just put it on uh, auto-fire <laughs> right now. 
I've been holding down the mouse button this entire time because we were doing like that uh, single shot kind of damage. We have electricity, plasma charge, sprint, magnetism, wildfire refresh. Killing an enemy with wildfire, wildfire decreases its cooldown by two. Do I want this? I don't think this... This doesn't help me here, right? Because... Where's... where's Because our, our perk, everything we kill automatically does wildfire. So we don't need decrease to decrease this. Although, wait, what's... What is after it? Wildfire explosions are much larger. Never mind, maybe we do want this. <laughs> We're going to choose this so we can get to larger wildfire explosions. Oh, watch out. Okay, at least we have our shield back and active. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I lied. I took my eye off the ball. And it hit us in the face. Oh, oh, you were, wait a minute. Oh, did the plant thing? The plant thing has little, like, tendrils coming out the back of it? I didn't even notice that before. Okay, get our, get our shield back up. I feel awfully vulnerable without the shield. There it is. Very, ooh, jeez, very nice. I also wonder, is there a way to... It's becoming more prominent. Uh, the screen shake? It is. Okay, let's just take the screen shake all the way down. It wasn't so bad for me earlier, but now the screen has been shaken for quite a bit. Okay, this is much better. <laughs> this is much better. Uh, when our fire rate was lower, it wasn't too bad. But as we got our damage, I don't know if it increases with the damage and fire rate. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe it was always bad, and I just didn't notice. I was too focused on the game. But I definitely started noticing it the last minute or so. And actually, I didn't even... Wait, that, uh, that pause screen? Enemies outside, any vision moves slower. Flashbangs, sprint, light wave. Okay, let's go with light wave. Was there a... Okay, no, we can just look at our stuff here. I thought there might have been stats here. But yeah, see, here's here's the player color and the crosshair color that you can change. Ooh, there's the light wave. That's kind of cool looking. I think I've gotten that before. Oh, no. Honestly, the light wave though, <laughs> it's a little, it, it's a little scary. It reminds me of a playing like the original, what was it, Aliens vs. Predator game? Where you'll be in like a darkened hallway and you'll hear the aliens coming for you and you can see them through the muzzle flashes. It's a little bit like that. Where before it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. Everything was blackness and I was just shooting shots into the dark. Oh, stay away from me. But now it kind of reveals them every few seconds. All right, what do we got here? Plasma charge, slowed projectiles, cone vision. Okay, here's the 40%. We lose a heart, but we're good. We'll still have four hearts plus our shield. And now we can, we can see a lot. We can see a lot. Oh my. Maybe seeing a lot is not all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, I'm interested to see if we get another boss at, uh, at 30 minutes. 
And the other runs I've done, I've just ended the run at uh, 20. Oh, there's a big one. I, st I honestly still don't know who's firing projectiles at me. Those little crescents that come at me every so often. Oh, watch out. I mean, it's not, it's not the big uh, plant creature. It's not the eyes. It's not the big uh, kind of squid guys. Or, or octopus guys. There, it's whoever's down there. Where, where are you? Where are you? I don't... S <laughs> You're gone. You're dead before I can even take a look. Alright, plasma charge, shield boost, slowed projectiles, conflagration. Yes. If you don't uh, die immediately, you're going to get set on fire. Oh, okay. We we, yeah, we got hit there. Uh, that's for sure. And they're getting awfully fast. Or maybe they're not getting fast. They're just uh, getting more tanky is the other option. Oh, watch out. I think they're just getting more tanky. We're at, we're at 26 minutes. Just kind of do like I'm, this kind of zigzag path kind of here. Try and get as much uh, experience. Kind of like we're, I'm mowing the lawn. You just travel in one direction. And then turn and then move over a little and, <laughs> and travel back the other direction. Bullets can ricochet up to three times. Don't we have like six times ricochets? Does this make it nine? Every six shot damage all enemies revealed on vision by 50% bullet damage. I mean, why not? Why not? We have a lot of vision right now. We'll just do some extra, extra bit of damage. Oh, wow. Oh, we lost. We lost it right there. Okay, that's fine. We can get it back. We can get it back. We just need to survive long enough, not take a hit. Save our our health. Because we can't regenerate our health except with boss kills. And I'd rather have a boss kill give me a max health than heal back up. For sure. Okay, we got the shield back. That's great. Oh no, we, we gotta... Why did I not get those? That was weird. I like saw them coming for me and I ran right at them thinking, okay, uh, I do so much damage. I'm doing triple shot. Surely it'll kill them before I reach them. The answer was no. No, it won't. Things are getting serious now. There's our shield back. So I can't be quite as cavalier anymore. Oh, with the damage. Yeah, see? Oh, man. Okay, I don't think we're going to make it to the next 30, to 30 minutes. This might be it here. Oh, watch out. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, bullet speed. No fire. I need more fire rate. Every 50 enemies while shield barrier is active. I don't know if I can keep it up. Uh, maybe, maybe just inflict fire. Oh no. Heavy radiation. Increases by 10% for each enemy revealed in vision. And then we also have... Yeah, radiation takes one more sh uh, one more shot. Here, this one takes a one less shot. That's what we're looking for. Or we would try to burn. 50% chance. Let's inflict fire. 10 damage every 3 seconds. Let's go with heavy radiation. Okay, shield is back. Let's see how long we can hold on to it, hopefully. Man, these little eye guys. These eye guys are awful. And they're the ones vexing me right now. Oh! You almost vexed me. We're good. We're good. Nope, nope, none of, none of you, none of you. Oh, wow. That was awful. We've lost a heart. We're coming up to 30 minutes. What do we get? Okay, no boss. Okay, it's just endless. At least I don't think, oh, we got hit again. No, we're gonna die. We can't take these guys down fast enough. Oh, jeez. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost it again. Okay, I'm losing it. No, I'm... Well, 30 minutes. I'm happy with that. 30 minutes, I'm happy with that. 10k kills, 37 levels gained. Uh, and yeah, that was the hand cannon. That was a lot of fun. I like this weapon. This weapon is great. The ricochets go crazy with the ricochets. It's interesting. I wonder how... How... You would do this one here with just not shooting. Wait two seconds before shooting to double the damage of your next shot. That doesn't seem like it would be great, especially when things start going crazy. You don't want to be waiting two seconds. Uh, but once again, this has been a disfigure. This game is great. This game is completely free for now, and it seems like there's a whole lot of planned updates coming down the pipe, as well as another map, at least one more map, which is great. If you want to check this game on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.